Hello, Teacher Mindy here. Today, I'm doing an unboxing of the Good Fortune Box. The Good Fortune Box is a subscription box that I subscribe to. Their motto is that they are online teachers. So any kind of online teacher, but online teachers for ESL usually, online ESL teachers, and they make a um, subscription box for online teachers. So they are online ESL teachers and they know what are some fun, awesome things that we're gonna want in our subscription box each month. And what you get in the box is always a fun surprise. So you open it up and it comes all pretty packaged in some kind of little sticker and the tissue paper and all of that. And so this month, they are doing a theme of feng shui. It's an ancient Chinese philosophy that focuses on finding balance and harmony in all aspects of life. This ideology revolves around the five elements, wood, water, metal, earth, and fire. Enjoy your personalized shirt with the highlights which highlights the feng shui knot. So you get three wooden Chinese signs. And this one is the Chinese sign that means goodbye. So it's really not wooden. It's made out of paper, but it feel, it has a look behind it that looks like wooden. So this means um, goodbye in Chinese, Zai Zhen. And then there's one that is um, hello. This one's hello, and that is Ni Hao. And then the other one is welcome. Let's see, and I think it goes like this. And welcome is Huayin, Huayin, I think. I don't know if I pronounced that one right. <laughs> so that's representing the water. And then, I mean, representing the wood, excuse me, back up. So that is representing the wood. Now for water, the way that they decided to represent water with the feng shui is the water gel eye mask. Now I've never had one of these, but my daughter has. You put this in the freezer or the fridge actually, and then you use this mask to help reduce puffiness and dark circles before classes and after feedback or during a nap. It can also be used to help ease headaches seasonal allergies, or just 2020 as a whole. Since it's been such a bad year, you can just put that little water mask on, relax, rejuvenate, and poof, hopefully all of our 2020 troubles will be gone. Then the next thing is um, the metal. So for metal, they are giving us stainless, steel chopsticks. You can use them during your lessons. They're beautiful. These are gorgeous chopsticks. Look at that. They are made of stainless steel. So we can use them in our lessons or use them to eat. But a lot of our lessons have chopsticks in them and they refer to chopsticks. The kids laugh when I pull mine out and try to hold them since I don't do it very well, but they always try to teach me. Um, so stainless steel chopsticks you can use as a prop or take them to the kitchen and eat with them. It says, who says you can't have lo mein for breakfast? <laughs> okay, and then earth. There's a custom China map in there, the ultimate extension tool. It includes the provinces, the autonomous regions, the landforms, and landmarks. You can find where your students live on the map and build stronger connections by discussing their regions. This is awesome. 
I'm always asking my students where they live and can they show me. And I have a small one of the Nancy Taylor maps, but it's way up high. So this will be so nice. They can tell me the province they live in. I can look it up. It tells you the number. And then I can look and see what province and where approximately they live. So here's their provinces and autonomous regions. So super cool, it can help me to understand where the kids live in China. So that's gonna be a great map that I don't even know if I'm gonna hang it on the wall, I'll just probably pull it out and use it a lot. But you can see it's made of this nice plastic, very sturdy, and it's got really nice grommets. So it's not like a cheap paper that is just gonna rip soon. This is something that I will use in class a lot. Okay, so that's representing earth. Fire is the honeysuckle and jasmine candle. The sweet summer scent is quite the self-care treat. It's perfect for lighting on the porch after a long day as the sunlight fades and the fireflies come out to play. Ooh, beautiful. This smells beautiful. So this The candle is by fullcirclescandles.com. Smells really, really nice, very nice. So they always do a featured teacher in the Good Fortune box. And this month's featured teacher is Lydia VQ from Learning Craft. She creates DIY kits that allow you to create your own fun props at home. She's giving all um, Good Fortune Box subscribers a 20% off in her shop. So if you order the Good Fortune Box, you can get 20% off in her shop. So if you look up Learning Craft, you can find her DIY kits. So I actually have gotten several of her DIY kits since you know all know that I love to do crafts so her um, ordering will be open again in a couple of days it opens the beginning of August she only has her ordering open for a few days each month and then she makes your kits and sends them out so this is an example of one kit that I've gotten from her so it is fun foam and it's all cut out. And what you do is you put Mod Podge or glue. I, I did Mod Podge this last time previously. I've done glue and it works either way. And you just kind of put the pieces in as a puzzle. So these are all emojis. I thought they were really fun. I just made these the last time I was um, crafting and put some Mod Podge coats over the top of them. And it kind of helps all these little pieces just to stay in. So that's all the different emojis. Then here is a fruit kit that I had ordered from her. So here's some grapes, watermelon. Here's a lemon, a couple of lemons, strawberry, and they're very layered. There's lots of layers. So they're good, thick quality um, prop when you get done. A pineapple and an orange. Then another thing that came in our Good Fortune box is their shirt. So not every month, but often you get a shirt and it has the feng shui knot on it. And I think it's so cool that there are all these people ordering shirts and ordering the Good Fortune box. I don't know how many are ordering now, but they have their t-shirt maker screen print your actual name on it. So it says teacher, the feng shui knot, and then your actual name. So everyone's name is on the box or on the t-shirt, sorry. Everyone's name is on the t-shirt. So cool that they can do that. Now, the last thing 
is you always get a fortune inside your a little fortune cookie. Now, they know that fortune cookies are not done in China, that they are definitely an American thing. <coughs> but this is kind of bridging the gap between the Chinese culture and the American culture. And they give you a little paper fortune cookie. And so you get to pull your fortune out. And it says, oops, mine just ripped. Are you a winner? Check inside your cookie for one of the golden fortunes. If you won, show us a picture on social media and get your next box free. As always, thank you for tagging the good fortune box in your social media posts. Okay, sorry about that. I ripped mine and I did not get a golden fortune, did not win, but it's okay. They're great ladies and I'm happy to support them. Life is a balance of holding on, letting go, and knowing where to do which of the two. When should you hold on and when should you let go? So that's a great fortune. Very good, um, applicable fortune. <laughs> So this is the whole good fortune box. If you're interested in subscribing, you can use the word Casey. That's my friend who introduced me to the good fortune box, K-A-S-I-E. And it gives you $5 off of each box for the rest of your life. So the box is $35 with shipping, but if you use the code Casey, it's only $30. And if you look at all that stuff that I got, the t-shirt, the map, the candle, the little um, fake wooden signs, the beautiful chopsticks, the water mask, the little fortune cookie, and the 20% off at Lydia's shop, that's awesome. It's a great bargain. All of that is a wonderful bargain. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the good fortune box and maybe you'll subscribe and oh, one other thing I forgot to tell you about the good fortune box. So what they want you to do with the box is when like at VIP kid, we have meetups with other teachers, but now that we're all kind of isolated and in the quarantine stuff, we're not having meetups right now. We're just having virtual meetups. So I've been holding on to my boxes. But when we do have meetups, I want you to fill your empty box with props that you're not using and pass them on to other teachers. So you can gift other teachers a whole box of fun props that maybe they could use and you're not using anymore in your classroom. Or if you're ordering something online, it's not too expensive. Maybe you can order two of them. So when you're able to have meetups again or meet with any um, other virtual ESL online teachers, you can give them as a treat a good fortune box. So they want you to pass it on to share the good fortune with someone else. So thanks for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and keep watching. Thanks. Bye.